What is the Brillion's Batch Print Letters app? The Batch Print Letters app enables the user to print letters for a group of patients in a batch process, instead of manually creating, one letter at a time. The user can select patients in many ways. For example, the user can select all the clinic appointments in the selected clinics for the specified date range. The letters can be automatically saved in Vista, CPRS and electronically signed. Brillions provides a large collection of letter templates. Therefore, the user is not limited to the lab letters only. You may be wondering, why do I need this app? The VA policy requires sending all the test results to the patients within the specified time frame. At present, most VA medical centers do not have a way to automatically print test result letters. Therefore, users have to manually create one letter at a time, which is time consuming. Manually, each letter may take three to five minutes in CPRS. In the time it takes to create one letter in CPRS, the Brillion's Batch Print Letters app can print all the letters for one or more clinics for one or more weeks. The user is not limited to the test results letters. This app can be used for other needs. For example, you may want to send educational materials to all patients who have elevated A1C. In addition to the clinic appointments, patients can be selected using a list of social security numbers. For example, the user can download a list of social security numbers for the target population from VSSC and send the selected patients a custom letter regarding their metabolic metrics. Many VA medical centers have configured the auto print feature for certain progress note titles. The user can take advantage of it by selecting the proper note title for batch printing letters. For repeated tasks, for example, for weekly printing of labs for my clinics, the app can save each batch jobs configuration as a preset. Using the preset saves time and effort. The user can start the app from Brillion's main menu. Please see the menu options under the Clinical Tools menu. A click on the Batch Print Letters and Reports menu item opens the dedicated form. The user interface provides two radio buttons to select the shared, or, the personal presets. Initially, a new user will not have any presets because they have not created any presets, yet. Similarly, there will be no shared presets because the VAMC has not created any presets. Generally speaking, most medical centers will not have any shared presets. Once the presets are available, the user can select the preset from the drop-down box and, and click the Start a new job using the selected preset button. Each batch print job requires certain information to print letters. For example, 
the app needs to know how to find the patient's list, which letter template to use, which progress note titles to use for saving the letter in CPRS, and so on. To capture the above information, the app provides an easy to use, step-by-step, -step, user interface. Once the user has made all the needed selections, these selections can be saved as a preset for the future use. For purposes of this training video, to create a preset, we will use the clinics for patient selection. For most users, this is a realistic scenario for regularly printing letters using the patients in their own clinics. To start a batch print job using clinic patients, please click on the print letters and reports using clinic appointments button. For printing letters, as it goes through the patient's list, Brillions loads clinical data for each patient from the VISTA system. To speed up processing, the user should load only the data elements which are needed to populate the letter. This significantly reduces the data loading and processing time. For example, if the selected letter template only prints the lab results, then there is no need to load the large volume of data from progress notes, consults, and many other clinical data sections. This page allows the user to select the needed clinical data sections. The user can use the radio buttons in the left pane for quick selections. Please note that the demographic data section is always needed, because, it supplies the patient's name, and, address. The user can also manually check, and uncheck, each data section for the specific needs. The print letters page contains many important settings. The selected letter template determines the contents of the letter. The user must check the create a letter for each patient checkbox. Otherwise, letters will not be printed. Needless to say, the user must select a letter template. To select a template, click on the Select Letter Template to Print button. This displays the available template in the Brillion's Letter Writer app. Click on the desired letter template to select it. Then, click on the Exit Letter Writer button to return to this app for the next steps. If you want to print a paper copy on the default printer configured on your workstation, then check the Print a paper copy on my default printer checkbox. Why would you not want to print a paper copy on your default printer? If you are using an Auto Print Progress Note title then there is no need to print a paper copy on the local printer. 
An auto print progress note title automatically prints to a remote printer in the mailroom when the progress note is signed. In such a case, the mailroom staff mails out the letters. Obviously, in such a case, there is no need to print a paper copy on your local printer. Your clinical informatics staff can tell you which progress note titles are configured for auto print, if any. Please note that the auto print feature is configured in the Vista system, and, not in Brillion's. The progress note title selection is applicable only if you want to save a copy of the letter in CPRS. The progress note title, and, the clinic selection are explained next. Now, let us see how to save the letters as progress notes in Vista system. In most cases, we want to save the letter in the Vista system for documentation purposes. To get proper workload credit for the compliance purposes, it is extremely important to select the correct progress note title. Please check your local medical center policies in this regard. The clinic name and the progress note title are required for saving the progress notes in the Vista system. To save letters as progress notes, the user must check the save each letter in CPRS as a progress note checkbox. This displays the user interface to specify the needed entries. Please select a clinic from the drop-down box. If the clinic is not in the list, it can be easily added using the button as shown later in this video. Similarly, please select a progress note title from the drop-down box. If the progress note title is not in the list, it can be easily added using the button. To select and save additional clinics for future use, please click on the Edit Clinics List button. This opens an editing form to easily select, and, optionally save, the clinic names to the list. The progress notes list can be edited in a similar manner. The user can optionally sign each progress note as it is saved in the Vista system. To do so, please check the Sign Progress Note when created checkbox. If needed, Brillions will ask for your electronic signatures to sign the progress notes. If you choose not to have Brillions sign the letters, then the letters will display as the unsigned documents in your view alerts. Some users may use this feature to add comments to the letters before signing them manually. Many users may want to run a similar print job frequently, for example, once a week. For repetitive work, it does not make sense to manually configure all the settings as shown in this video so far. Therefore, Brillions allows the user to save all these configuration settings as a reusable, preset, what is a preset? A preset is a configuration file to save all the settings. When user selects a preset to run the print job, 
Brillions automatically fills all the fields from the saved data. Once familiar, using a preset, the user can start a print job in about a minute. To save the current settings as a preset, please click on the Save as a Preset button on the bottom panel. As the video shows, give the preset a meaningful name for the future use. Having saved the file, the preset with display in your personal presets list. During the batch processing, the user can print the selected data view. These are the same data views which are available on the Brillion's views form. The data will print on the user's default printer. Most users will use this feature rarely, if at all. At this time, the batch printing app has all the information it needs. The user can start the batch process by clicking on the Start Data Mining job. Though the app provides buttons to pause, resume, and stop the job, it is strongly recommended that, once started, the user should let the job finish. Though the app may be able to resume the stop jobs, there is risk of errors in doing so.